The beginning of Hebrews 12 has always been one of my favorite passages in Scripture. It says this, Therefore, since we have such a large crowd of witnesses surrounding us, let us lay aside every hindrance and sin that easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that lies before us, keeping our eyes on Jesus, the source and perfecter of our faith. For the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. One of the things I love about that passage is the power with which it presents Jesus being supreme and getting to sit down as the victor at the end of the day. But it also calls us to stay focused in the present day. History is requiring us to love well in this time. This is the time when we get to stand up and represent the kingdom of God incredibly well to look out for those who can't look out for themselves, to take action on our part so that we can take care of people who can't take action for themselves. And so we need to lay aside the things that would trip us up in these days. We need to lay aside the anger at what inconveniences we're facing. We need to lay aside the criticism that might want to come forth from people just trying to make the best decisions that they can in these days. And we need to keep our eyes focused on a kingdom that needs represented now more than ever. Because dark times need light. And we can be people who bring light into a dark situation by the way that we show up and love well. We get to help hand out meals to kids who wouldn't have meals otherwise. We get to show up, we can go and grocery shop for people who can't grocery shop for them. So we can do those things and we can be representatives of a kingdom that looks out for one another. And a kingdom that speaks love and hope and joy because we have our eyes fixed on the ultimate victor in all of history, Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith.